Hi, my name is Karen Horn. I'm the senior clinician here at Worcester Youth and Family Counseling Services in Berlin, Maryland. Today we're going to talk a little bit for our YouTube video about ways to help you shine as always. But today's focus is going to be as things are opening back up, how can we cope with that when there's, you know, some people have been waiting so long for this to happen and they're ready to go and other people are having a really hard time with everything opening back up. They've been in their own space for so long and not around people. It's really challenging to then go from not being around anyone to going completely back to normal. I'm very anxiety provoking for many people out there, especially those that are introverted in the first place. So we're going to talk a little bit about that and how normal that experience is when we've gone and we've been very isolated and then we've been wearing masks and we're doing all of these things and we're not going to restaurants or you're not going to events and then all of a sudden you can do it all and you walk in and you see all of these people. Many people are feeling incredibly anxious. So that's completely normal given the circumstances that we're in and it's very unique. Some things that are really helpful to do in these situations is you want to expose yourself to that anxiety, but a little bit at a time. So you want to control the things you can, but not the things you can't. If for you, it feels less anxiety provoking to wear a mask, wear your mask. If for you, it feels less anxiety provoking to eat outside versus inside, eat outside. So you want to look at the different things that make you that you feel anxious about with this turn of events and you can rate each of these things whether it's an events whether it's wearing a mask or not whatever it may be whether it's a place to go people you're seeing something at work rate each one on a scale of one to ten how intense is the anxiety that you are experiencing for that item and do that separately for each item on that list. For the items that have the lower number of intensity, those are the good ones to start with. So you're going to pick one, whichever is the lowest, and start with that one. You're going to do a little bit of exposure and make it gradual. So for example, if it is anxiety provoking for you to go to the beach, um, you're going to start with just maybe driving there, but not actually going. You could then work your way up to stepping on the beach, but not staying. Then work your way to stay on the beach for a half an hour, then an hour, and so on and so forth. Gradually increasing that time. Gradually increasing your exposure. If it's the grocery store, going to the grocery store. Maybe it's you drive to the grocery store and you don't go in. Maybe the next time you drive and you take a cart and you bring the cart inside and then you leave. Maybe you're wearing a mask that time. And then maybe the next time you get one item at the grocery store and the next time two items and the next time three and so on and so forth. Again, consistently and gradually increasing your exposure. You don't want to feed your anxiety monster and avoid these things that are making you anxious right now and the things that are contributing to that anxiety. Instead, you want to take control over that and go ahead and take one step at a time in the way that you can be most comfortable. This will still lead to some feelings of anxiety. However, that anxiety should generally be low enough if you're going for what's the lowest anxiety on your list first, that you're going to be able to work through and tolerate that emotion using some coping tools. Reminding yourself that you're not actually going inside. Reminding yourself that you can let yourself feel safe. That maybe your danger button is turning on and malfunctioning because this is new and it's different. And giving yourself for, to feel permission to feel that anxiety take a deep breath use other tools we've discussed whether it's the muscle relaxation the deep breathing some cognitive reframing other things that you can reference in our videos and to work through that anxiety and feel successful in doing so and feel accomplished in doing so 
then the next time taking it one step further. So this is a tip for you to control what you can and cope with the anxiety of everything changing. Change is scary and we've never been through this situation before. You can definitely do it. Don't feed your anxiety monster. Instead, you take control of your own. I hope this helps and helps you shine. If you like our page, if you like these videos, feel free to subscribe. We would love that. And we'll see you next week. Bye.